What's going on my dudes, One Step here. Today helping you decide which version of Assassin's Creed Shadows you should be pre-ordering. Cause if you're watching this video, it's likely you're wanting to pre-order the game. So which version should you get? And are they worth the price? Let's get into it. As we do so, make sure you subscribe here for more content and turn that bell on so you know when we upload and when we go live. And let's talk about the additions that Assassin's Creed Shadows is offering. On the surface, we have the standard edition, which is running you $69.99 USD. So the standard $70 that most PS5 games, most new gen games are. We got the gold edition that is running you $109.99 USD, so $110. Ultimate edition running you at $129.99 USD, so $130. And then we got the big and banging collector's edition running you at $279.99 USD, so $280. Now, what comes with these additions? And again, are they even worth getting? As we get into the additions, my dudes, keep in mind that no matter what edition you pre order, you do get this pre order bonus, a bonus quest called Thrown to the Dog. So, no matter what version of the game you get, if you pre order at all, you do get a bonus quest and that's kind of cool who doesn't want more gameplay well i don't think there's a real need to go over the base game edition it's quite literally that just the base game as it is an assassin's creed game it's likely to be a giant open world rpg game we've seen before valhalla odyssey origins it's gonna be just like that but set in feudal japan so it's likely to offer you anywhere from probably 40 to 60 hours of solid gameplay if not more and at that price point i mean it's a standard 70 dollars where you're probably just used to nowadays at that point it's more of a personal preference if you just want to get the game at all and again if you're watching this video i think you're trying to decide do you want to get a higher edition rather than just like the base game so if you're going to get the game do you want to get anything more with it so let's talk about that the gold edition the gold edition like i said is 110 usd so 40 more dollars than the standard edition but what does it come with well it comes with right here you see the uh the season pass which is basically two upcoming expansions so they say here new lands new characters and unravel new mysteries so possibly new missions of course along with all the new lands we're getting and that's two expansions by the way so more than just the one so basically think about it, like 20 bucks a piece extra for both expansions plus you get an extra mission available at launch and you get to play it three days early so it's like do you want that three days extra game time to play the game do you want the season pass it comes with those two upcoming expansions for 40 more dollars oh it's, it sounds pretty typical to be able to play a game earlier like that get the expansions coming up like for games like ghost of tsushima god of war horizon forbidden west you know we got got burning shores games like this always get some form of expansion later on like down the road so this is not really unexpected and at 110 dollars i found other games expansions to be worth that price so at this point right here if it's that good so we're gonna assume it's that good i think this would be worth it if you want to play the entirety of what assassin's creed shadows are gonna bring throughout its lifespan and i said that the 40 dollars is probably more worth it for that expansion because we're talking about the ultimate edition next which again you can play three days early so the same as the gold the season pass for the two extra expansions again same as the gold so what's extra keep in mind this is 20 more dollars than the gold is the ultimate pack so you get the second ryu character pack which looks like to be cosmetic skins for your character gear for your characters you get the hideout pack again uh looks like more cosmetics five skill points to use in the game for your skill tree and then a red dragon photo filter for uh photo mode so do you want to pay 20 extra dollars uh, for more cosmetics, uh, more gear pieces. I think the skill points is probably the most useful in this kind of game, in my opinion. But for 20 extra dollars, I mean, the gear is cool, but I mean, you're going to find gear throughout the game anyways. That like, even though that gear you're going to get through the ultimate pack is really cool, it might just not be for you. Like it's red, it's cool. But what if you want to run like black or you want to run green or whatever? I bring this up because this is more preference based. So if you just absolutely love that gear, you absolutely just cannot wait to get five more extra skill points and you love photo mode in games like this then yeah this is going to be a, you know worth the extra 20 dollars me personally i would rather just save my 20 dollars i'm gonna get skill points by playing the game anyways and i do a lot of side quests so i tend to have extra skill points anyways throughout the main missions and stuff i'm gonna find gear that i like just playing the game i don't really care about having you know extra saucy gear like this and i hardly use photo mode anyway so i don't really care about this person so i if i were to, if i were gonna pre-order a version of the game uh, uh that wasn't the base game itself I would do the gold edition. I want everything that's coming to the game, all the expansions, the lands, the characters, the new missions and whatever. And again, I'm gonna earn uh, gear as I play. I'm gonna earn skill points as I play. I don't really need it 
that big of an early head start i don't really care i'm gonna play three days early getting the gold edition so compared to the other two gold and ultimate i don't think the ultimate edition is worth that extra 20 dollars personally if you want to spend the money because you can and you want the gear you want the skill points you want the photo filter go for it my opinion I don't think it's worth it. Now we're taking a big leap from the Ultimate Edition at $130 to the Collector's Edition at $280. Now the Collector's Edition, as you might expect, includes a lot. It includes everything that the Ultimate would. So the Season Pass, those gears, the skill points, the photo filter, and a lot of physical stuff. As you can tell behind me, I am a big physical having stuff kind of guy. I love my statues. I love my figures. I love my replicas. I love stuff like that. So speaking of the Collector's Edition, this is more or less speaking, are you a collector? literally and ideally do you want to spend 280 dollars for all the extra physical stuff you're going to get personally me my life the way i live and the way i collect uh yeah i i would get this for sure i hate when collector's editions don't come with statues uh we're getting a statue here which is awesome steel butt case i love steel butt cases no i'm not joking i have plenty of them i i really do love the steel butt cases dude i even got halo 2 steel butt case so you get the statue you get the big collector's box you get the steel butt case you get the metal suba replica with a stand which is kind of like the sword holder that's really cool you get the world map you get a collector's art books if you love art that's great too you get a creed wall scroll not quite sure how big it is though it doesn't look like it'd be too crazy big and then you get some lithographs so again it's, it's kind of a lot you're spending an extra 110 dollars but the statue by itself is probably anywhere from 60 to 80 dollars by itself still bookcase collector's box world map suba holder art book and wall scroll and the lithographs if you were debating getting the collector edition at all if you can and you're wanting to i would get it this is one where i'm like yeah this is definitely where the sometimes collector's editions again don't come with the statue they come with very little and they're still anywhere from like 280 to like 350 dollars this at 280 for all that you get here if my local store has these up for pre-order still i'm gonna do this one but if we're talking strictly digital i would do the goal that seems more worth that you get the base game again anywhere from 40 to 60 hours and then both expansions later on so probably equaling over 100 hours of game time most likely and if you're really wanting to get saucy then yeah pay the extra 20 uh get the ultimate edition for this extra of gears and stuff like that or go crazy like me here and get the collectors speaking of that i do want to hear from you guys what edition of assassin's creed shadows if you're going to pre-order it which version are you thinking about pre-ordering did my simple review here maybe influence your mind change your mind and are you excited for assassin's creed shadows let me know all your thoughts down below if you want more content like this like i said do not forget and subscribe here for more turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more news guides reactions and more